being amazing is hungry work. Snack time? Great idea. Everybody to the spicy pizza stand. Uh, spicy? Pizza? <laughs> oh, yeah. um, so, just how spicy is this pizza? It's like tasting lava. It'll melt your pizza! Oh, okay. I'll just ask for non-spicy. <gasps> Do not ask for any changes. Spicy Crust only sells spicy pizza. What? Psh. All any chef or baker wants is to make their customers happy. <laughs> Just follow our lead. Ah! One slice of spicy pizza, please. 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 <laughs> oh, yeah, I cannot do that. How you doing? Mr. Spicy Grass. <laughs> yeah, love what you got going on here. The way every berry orders one slice of spicy pizza. Mm. Really cool, cool, cool. Any berry ever mix it up and order one slice of slicey pizza? Because <laughs> you know that would be totally on my right or what? <laughs> I can see you're busy. I'll take a slice of pizza. You know, not spicy. Mm, my name is Spicy Crust. This is the spicy pizza stand. No spice, no pizza for you! <laughs> We tried to warn you, shortcakes. Let me try to get you a slice. One slice of spicy pizza, please. You already had a piece today. Th this is uh, uh, for my friend. She she was just trying to. No pizza for you! I wrote a song about the power of forgiveness. Love. No pizza for you! The universe told me you would be much happier mm. if you agreed uh -huh. and. We'll give you this lend a hand 5,000 for an extra slice of pizza. It could help you toss pizza dough. No pizza for you! You are your robot! Good day. I'm Beef Wellington, Strawberry's uncle. Please give her another opportunity mm. for some pizza! No pizza for any of you! Treat your customers this way. If somebody doesn't want sprinkles on their cupcake, you know what I do? I don't put sprinkles on it. Because it makes berries happy. No pizza's good enough for you to go around scaring every berry. <laughs> Spicy pizza's all I know how to make. <laughs> oh, look, there's nothing to cry about. All you need is to find some berry who can show you how to make other kinds of pizza. But I've been so mean. Who would do that for me? I made a veggie pizza! <laughs> and it's not spicy! You did! I knew you had it in you. I can make all kinds of pizza now. Oh, ho, ho. Thank you, Strawberry. But, uh, my spicy pizza's still my specialty. It would mean a lot if, uh, you'd give it a try. I, um, well, okay. So you like it? Oh, <laughs> yes. So good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, either of you have any sour sauce? Ew, that weird prickly fruit? It may look prickly, but it's gonna taste delicious in the sour sauce sponge cake I wanna bake. It's out of season. You're not gonna find it anywhere in the city. Huck, what are you doing? I saw some prickly fruits while doing a gig in... Fruit Lake Alley. Fruit Lake Alley? What's Fruit Like Alley? It's a secret market that sells impossible to find ingredients, including out of season fruit. Run by the sneakiest berries around. They'll sell you a pie and then steal the filling. Bad news. Shortcakes hasn't lived in Big Apple City as long as we have. She thinks every berry is as nice as she is. Fruit Like Alley sounds adorable! We're, We're going, going with, with her. her. Hey, Caramella. Uh, why you gotta use my name up? 
sorry, Caramella. This is Strawberry Shortcake, Orange Blossom, and Raspberry Tart. This is Caramella Eclair. Her dad runs <laughs> out. What do you want? And can you pay? I... I woke up this morning and I said to myself, So, let's make a sponge cake, but what kind? So I looked in my restaurant <laughs> shop, and yeah. She's nice. Watch. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? I got it. You want a thing? I got a thing. Hey, kid. Want to buy an egg beater? Oh, thanks. But I've already got this. <laughs> These berries will swindle us any way they can. I'm sure that's not true. They seem nice. That guy's selling melons. Hollow melons. Well, that cake looks delicious. Frosted with toothpaste. <gasps> I'm starting to think these berries might not be trustworthy. <sighs> the crumb father of Fruit Leg Alley. Also, my dad, Caramel Tartufo. Mm, my sweet caramel tells me you're looking for a sour sop. Very difficult to obtain. Luckily, I have a batch that just came in from Banana Beach for a price. Well, my friend won't pay a nickel over market value. We didn't come here to get cheated. Before we continue and I respond to your disrespect, give me a moment to sample this banana bread made from my mama's delicious recipe. <coughs> this is not my mama's fluffy banana bread! Until the baker gets it right! Fruit Lake Alley is closed! Everybody out! Uh, Overmix better. I can fix that. Why would you do this for me? Just trying to bake the world a better place one treat at a time. Huh? You've done me a kindness today, Strawberry Shortcake. This is what my mama used to make. The sour sop is yours. You're all welcome in Fruit Leg Alley anytime as my special guests. There you go. See, berries always do the right thing if you just... Hey! Where's my sock? Go, Dan, yes! Put it back! We definitely would have cheated her if she hadn't won my dad over. Yo, keep an eye on your friend. She's way too trusting. Three emails, two meetings, and one yoga class, and then I am good to go! Perfect! As soon as I finish these strawberry jelly donuts, I'll meet you at Garscone. <laughs> Did you say Garscone? Oh. Yep! Aunt Praline is taking me out for a girls' night. Garscone is the hottest restaurant in Big Apple City. The food is... <laughs> what are you gonna wear? I was just gonna wear this. We're going shopping. I am not fancy. I don't need to get all dressed up to have dinner with my aunt. Strawberry has to get dressed up to have dinner with her aunt. It's Garscone! Blooming Berries is the place to find the perfect look for tonight. I don't know, Lime. This just seems too fancy for me. <laughs> uh, why are you looking at me like that? Really blowy fantasy. Super fun, so lose that frown. Let's go get you ready for your big night. big night. Okay, you don't know what to wear. You got this girl, so don't despair. Time to get you ready for the spotlight. Be your fair free best. Shine brighter than the rest. Be the finest fairy on display. Be glamorous, be loud. Be the one to wow the crowd. Be your very best and win a day. Really
can rain check for another night. Maybe when it comes to dress up, I can get a teensy bit carried away. <laughs> huh? <gasps> Wait! Jelly donut! Jelly what now? Nobody cares what's on the outside of a jelly donut. It's what's inside that matters. Dressing up is fun, but I know that no matter what you wear, you're gonna be a huge hit. You're you. Be your carefree best. Don't worry, don't be stressed. Find a look that makes you feel like you. Shine brighter than a star just by being who you are. That's the very best thing you can do. You look fabulous. Well, that is all thanks to my fashion guru, Lime Chiffon. Clearly. I mean, you look very fashion forward. I always try to look my very best. <laughs> <laughs> now that is a winter swirl tree. <sighs> All right, let's get to it. Why is Sour Grapes attacking the tree? She decorates it every year. Winter swirl. <laughs> Whoa. Deck the halls. This tree is like my soul. But, but, but winter swirl trees should be magical glowing beacons of hope! Isn't there any berry else who could... Hold the scone. I've got an idea. Lemon would be great, but she's gonna say no. Why? Whoever decorates the tree has to give a speech at the tree lighting. Lemon? Not really an outgoing berry, so why are you making that face? You know who is an outgoing berry? Me! <laughs> who better to turn Lemon into the perfect public speaker? Hi! Yeah, we've decided you're decorating the winter swirl tree this year. <gasps> no, no. No, 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 no! I don't do speeches. But you can make this place look more amazing than any other berry. Oh, that is true. And the speech? Pfft, easy once we turn you into a speech-giving machine. Please? Oh. Speech-giving machine activated. Ugh, that sounded better in my head. Fine. What do I do? Use descriptive words. You aren't lighting a tree. You're illuminating the spirit of the season. Uh -huh. Look every berry in the eye with a look that says, hey, you, listen to what I'm saying. Uh, if you get nervous, just think of every berry in their underwear. Gross. And last but not least, smile, be yourself, speak from the heart, and you'll be perfect. You get all that? Uh. Great! Show us what you've got. <gasps> hey there. Arr! So... Arr! I, uh, wanna illuminate the... Lots of spark berries. Underwear! We all have it! In summary, trees. Yay! <laughs> okay, that was... Well, see, this is why I never wanted to light the tree in the first place. The thing about being an outgoing berry is sometimes you forget not every berry is as outgoing as you. Um, Lemon? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk at all. I know, I know. Just, just listen. I shouldn't have tried to force you to do something you didn't want to do. You're perfect just the way you are. If I didn't have to give a speech, I'd love to. Why are you making that face? My pal Lemon is going to let her work speak for itself. Want to rise above the rest? Do you have what it takes to be a peculiar purple protege? <gasps> I've been wanting to find a way to show the purple pie man how fantastic I am. And now he's looking for a right-hand berry? 
what? What? <laughs> Wait, you all want to be the Purple Pie Man's protege? Duh! An opportunity like this could jumpstart my banking career. It would be very educational. I just want to watch every berry fight. What? We're not going to fight with each other over a job. Prepare to fight with each other over a job! One of you lucky berries will soon earn the rare privilege of shadowing yours truly, all expenses unpaid. Which is applause worthy. <laughs> Show me your very best. Winning is everything, losing is for losers. Now, let the competition begin. Balance your duties and keep me on your mind at all times. A smart berry is always a front runner. <laughs> Shoulder the load so I don't have to. Yes! <laughs> I love a determined berry who's not afraid to show she's better than the rest. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jump through any hoops I tell you to! I like a berry who flows while her friends stumble. <laughs> Divide, conquer, stay number one. Now the final competition. I've lost my keys. They're in that pie! Find them. On your mark! Get set! Tear it apart! <laughs> <laughs> the Berry Works is a place of friendship, community, and inclusion. But look at us! I don't know about you, but if this is how to succeed in baking, by being mean and competitive and covered in ugh, pie filling, then I don't want to be successful. I want to be happy with my friends. What an adorably sweet and naive statement from Snotberry Blortcake. But friends don't win you awards. Friends don't put a pie shop on every corner of Big Apple City. It's a berry squash berry world out there. So you can be sweet or you can be the best. Your call. I'm sorry, but I don't believe that. I think I can be the best without fighting the people who care about me the most. <laughs> uh, barf. Fine. You can all be losers together. The winner of the competition is her. Sour grapes! She didn't even compete! No, but she did enjoy watching you all fight. Also, she's my niece. Yay. You know what? We don't need the purple pie man. Follow me! I've got congrats on not being the purple protege cookies for everybody! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> My first very New Year's Eve in Big Apple City. This is going to be the best night ever! Right, berries? Why are we out in the cold again? Why are we staying up so late? And why does bubblegum grow on trees? It doesn't? Huh. That answers that question. We have to stay up until midnight so we can make our super special New Year's wishes. My Granberry Jam always says, a New Year's wish at the stroke of midnight always comes true. Granberry Jam wishes? Uh, wishes don't come true. What are you, a little sprout? No berry believes that stuff. Right, Raspberry? Yeah, totally. <laughs> no berry. Anyways, what are you berries wishing for at midnight? More hours in the day! Being this much of a boss? Way more than a 24-7 commitment! Well, if we're getting crazy, I'd love a first edition of the classic Canna Cake Renina. World Peace! So every berry has access to healthy snacks. A year filled with explosions! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what about you, Strawberry? Ooh, well, I always have a wish list up my sleeve. <laughs> Literally. I mean, it's narrowing it down to the perfect wish that's the problem. Well, you still got time till midnight. Better keep my energy up. <sighs> Pinch me if I fall asleep. <sighs> Ow! Wow, you're good. <laughs> this is a job for my warmer upper 600. <laughs> nice. Warm. Ooh, guys, I think I have it narrowed down to the top 10 best wishes. How will my wish come true if I don't even know what to wish for? You can get this. Just pick something you want to do and make a wish. And someday soon it could come true. Where to start? What could it be? A special wish that's just for me. So many dreams I see. And I think I know what... Hi, Raspberry. <gasps> oh, it's you. You wish on a midnight star too? Of course. My grandmama marmalade taught me. After all, a New, New Year's wish, wish at the stroke of midnight, midnight always comes true. Okay, don't make it weird. Every berry has a grandparent. It's no big deal. I wish to be the best baker in Big Apple City. I guess that's your wish, too. Nope. I mean, yes, I do want to be the best baker, but I don't think that's this wish. I wish to make even more amazing friends this year in Big Apple City. Raspberry! Berry, where are you at? If you tell any Berry that I made a wish, I will... totally find some way to embarrass you. <laughs> Very happy New Year, Big Apple City. of the city. <laughs> huh? oh! We're throwing a little soiree in the clubhouse so we can all watch Kiki Q I'm Super Sweet New Year's Eve special. We're just hours from the countdown and a live performance from Sherry Bobbleberry and the Berry Fairy. I love the Berry Fairy. <gasps> My argument, I'm legendary. Contrary. Night when the gumball drops in time spare. Or right here, it's a Mecha Mini Gumball Dropper. Sink to the big one in time spare. Lemon, that's great. But there's only one place I want to be tonight, and that's right here with my very besties. Strawberry, we have to go now. Raspberry, what are you talking about? Check your phone. Kiki Key Lime invited the two of us to hang out. <laughs> but. We made these plans, and... Do not even worry about it. The universe and Kiki want you there. Oh, yeah. Oh. <gasps> this is all very sweet. But we have to go! Best New Year's Eve ever! Kiki will be here shortly. Help yourself to craft services. <laughs> Look at us, backstage craft services, waiting for Kiki Key Lime. We have arrived. This is our destiny. <laughs> huh. Our destiny is kind of cold. Well, I'm sure the Kiki just needs to recover from those bright lights on stage. Besides, it's not that cold. <laughs> okay, maybe it's a little cold. There they are. Strawberry shortcake, raspberry tart. I'm so glad you can make it. We are going to have so much fun. Tell me absolutely everything you've been up to. Well, we were so excited to come here because we knew that you're- Sherry Bobbleberry is gonna be late. She can't be late. We can't postpone midnight. <sighs> Sorry, girls. Need to handle this tiny thing. Then it's all us. You're gonna love it up on that stage. I'm sure she'll be right back. Ever wanted. We're almost ready for you. In just a few minutes, you'll be standing next to Kiki and waving. Won't that be the best New Year's ever? 
best New Year's ever. Right. Okay, maybe tonight's not perfect. It's cold and Sherry Bumbleberry was late. But the two of us are gonna get to stand on stage near Kikiki Live. Every fairy will see us up there. What could possibly be better than this? Well... It's almost gumball drop time. There's Kiki. But where's Raspberry and Shortcakes? Shouldn't they be with her? Nah, they had better places to be. Huh? You're back? The universe did not prepare me for this. W what happened? Well, we told Kiki that we really appreciated her invite, but there was only one place we wanted to be tonight, and that's right here with our very besties. Aww. Aww. Besides that gumball in Times Pair, not nearly as impressive as a Mecha Mini Gumball Dropper. Ten, Hurry up, it's nine, time! Eight, seven, Okay, six, you're five, right. This four, is better. Three, <laughs> I know. Two, two one! one. Oh, I'm totally off my game. The peculiar purple pie man, my baking hero, and the genius behind those purple pie shops on every corner of the city moved into the berry works. That should be the best thing ever. Hey there! Hey, never mind. <laughs> Except he barely notices me. You okay, Shortcakes? You haven't been yourself since the peculiar purple pie man moved in. Your energy is way off. I know, I'm sorry. I thought if I ever met one of my heroes, we'd become best fairies, you know? Share baking tips, gossip until the sun goes down. You won't even talk to me. You're putting too much importance on somebody else's opinion. Your emotional well-being shouldn't be dependent on some berry you hardly know. What? I don't like feelings, but I understand them. Lemon's right. You don't need every berry to like you. We like you because we know you. You're right, Huck. Uh, I am? If the pie man gets to know me, he'll like me. I'm totally likable. <laughs> I just have to prove it to him. <laughs> she almost got it. Snazzy apron! Hey, Mime! Have you read My Peculiar Purple Life by the Purple uh. Pie Man? Oh. Ahem. You and me, could it be a friendship recipe? You'll see, you'll see, you'll see. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> right there with you, sad souffle. What's wrong with Strawberry? She can't get over the fact the purple pie man doesn't like her. We're trying to come up with ways to cheer her up. Oh, pfft. she doesn't need cheering up. She needs sense smacked into her with a spatula. <gasps> I'll do it. Get it together. <laughs> Who cares what the pie man thinks? Well, what if he doesn't notice me because... I'm not worth noticing. <sighs> Get over it already. You've been the most confident berry I have ever met since the day you got here. Nothing I tried could stop you. That's true. You didn't get all mopey when we first met, and I didn't like you. Yeah, but with you, my strawberry senses were tingling. <laughs> I knew you'd come around. Well, I did. Why else would I be standing here acting all sweet and caring? <gasps> You're right! Obviously. I need to stop worrying what other berries think. Just be the berry I know I can be. Exactly! Because eventually, every berry will like me. Well, that's not exactly... Listen up! I don't need to prove anything to you. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. You're about to find out just how awesome I can be. Have this muffin! Or don't! Either way, I made it, and it's delicious! <sighs> she almost got it right. Tell me about it. I never thought I'd see this. 
but it is nice to have the annoyingly happy strawberry shortcake back. Who's the best fairy? I'm the best fairy! Making it happen, baby. Ooh, ah! Wow, she really is a lot, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs>